Whoa. Hello, everyone. This is Hoodie D here from the GCA. I am joined by Lady Medea. How are you today? Very good. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, indeed. We just saw Joker 2. Probably the most pointless sequel I've ever seen in my life. Unfortunately, I, I didn't want to say it, but... Uh, that's how I feel about it. Uh, it felt more like a spinoff than a true sequel, uh, just in the sense that it rehashed the first movie basically in a court scene room the whole time. Uh, he was on trial and all they did was rehash the first movie, uh, talking about the murders he committed and you know the different crimes that he committed. Uh, the writing, it, serviceable at best. Uh, Nothing crazy here as far as good writing like the first movie. Uh, the first movie was a gripping psychological, I don't want to call it a thriller, but uh, there was definitely tension there. Uh, you know, it, it had you on the edge of your seat. This movie lacked that completely. Uh, first of all, I did not watch any trailers for this. Kind of, you know, kept my eyes away from spoilers. I knew Lady Gaga was going to be in it but I did not think it would be a full on musical. And that for me dragged this movie down. And uh, when I look at the budget for this movie, uh, looking at $200 million here, they gotta be money laundering. There's no way this movie costs $200 million. There's barely any CGI in it, barely any action, a lot of dancing and a lot of talking. So I don't know where that money went, I, it doesn't make sense to me. When I look at La La Land, their budget was only $30 million and nothing of the scope in that movie happens in this one. So it, it just doesn't make sense to me how this movie costs so much. Uh, Lady Medea, what are your initial thoughts when you walked out of that movie theater? God, yeah. Um, so just going back to what you just said, um, the original movie was... I think 50 or some 55 or something like that million. And I mean, it grossed over a billion dollars. Uh, and this one is, you know, quadrupled at this point. And I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know, were they expecting to get that out of it? Or, I mean, they're gonna be losing tons of money. And, and, and of course that shows you that, you know, no matter your, what your budget is, it's just, it's just that you just have to get it right. That That's all. You just have to get it right. I mean, the original Joker, comparing to this one, it was it, it was a night and day. You know, like you said, a very well made, very heavy, dark movie, but with so much message, it was it was. It was excellent, and and then of course, and and you know, like it's it didn't need a sequel. I didn't expect one. Of course, when I learned that there, there, there is gonna be one, I was kind of excited. I wanted to see it. I was kind of hoping for you know another epic movie, but I, it, it, there is no words to describe how disappointed I was when I left that. And just to be fair, nothing against the you know the acting i mean Joaquin was absolutely wonderful you know obviously he is he's incredible actor he did a good job as did everybody else i mean it was well casted well shot well directed i i can't i don't have any complaints but just the idea of the musical you know just when you kind of get a little bit of interest that even though it was slow it was kind of boring but you know, like I, I actually am a big fan of the um, courtroom um, film. So you know, it was it, when 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 they were doing that, when they, you know, I think the last hour, last hour or so, you know, it kind of focused on him being in court. Um, you know, I was kind of getting into it. I was like, okay, well, that that's good. And then boom, they throw a song in, and I'm like, oh, good lord! You know, <laughs> like, come on, you know, they, they just, it's just, this, it was just so distracting. Yeah, I agree. I was sitting next to my buddy, and every time a song played, we looked at each other, just like, "Why? Why?" Yeah. And another thing about the music, the songs were just bad to me. Like mm -hmm. they they were horribly mixed too. It sounded like like the the mix of it when the singing just didn't correspond with each other. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the stages that they were on looked very dry and lifeless. They could have done a better job with, you know, the backgrounds and the sets that they were doing these uh, songs and dances on. Uh, but I do agree with you. Uh, the acting, you know, in this movie was phenomenal. Uh, this is, in my opinion, uh, Yoquan Phoenix is another Oscar, uh, you know, worthy uh, performance here. Uh, mm -hmm. It was fantastic. I have no issues with the acting in this movie. My issues and gripes are with the writing and the direction that uh, they chose to go because there really is no progression in this story or this character story, in my opinion. It's just a rehash of the first movie. We don't get to see anything new. Uh, yes, Lady Gaga is in it as uh, um, can't think of her, Harley Quinn, and she shines for sure as in her role. But she has nothing to work with outside of singing, and it just gets old after the first two or three songs. So mm -hmm. I was you know, waiting for the movie to end. I was like, oh my God, please end. I want to walk out of here. Uh, I do think, and I agree with you about the uh, court scene. Um, I like court scene, you know, drama mm -hmm. movies as well. There was one uh, 10 years ago with Robert Downey Jr., The Judge. Uh, fantastic movie. So those movies can be made well, but yeah. not like this. this. First of all, a Joker movie should not be a musical. Uh, and if you're going to do it, this is not the way to do it. Uh, I've seen musicals. Uh, even High School Musical was better than this. Um, <laughs> and I, I keep comparing it to La La Land. I'm not a big fan of you know La La Land, but I've seen it. And uh, I know that it's partly because Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, they sound real. Like they sounded raw and real. The music felt real. Here, I didn't get that impression. So uh, this movie for me, it was a huge disappointment. Uh, you know, coming off the first one, like you said, it had a very small budget and it made over a billion dollars uh, and mostly because of word of mouth. You know, that was yeah. people saying, hey, you know, this movie was great. We should go see it. And uh, I even bought it on I have the 4K Blu-ray disc. You know, sometimes I watch it. I'm not going to be buying this movie on 4K Blu-ray. So uh, I give it probably out of 10. My personal rating is a four out of 10, just because there were some good sequences in the movie, um, specifically talking about the prison guards and how they treated the inmates. I like some of the dynamics there. Um, and I like the acting overall, uh, especially when, you know, he starts to go crazy and lose his mind a little bit. I think that was really well thought out and his performance shows that. Uh, overall, Lady Medea, what are your final thoughts on this movie do you recommend people go see it don't waste your time i mean unless you are you know a very good fan of of the actors or or the director but just be prepared you're gonna be bored for two hours and 20 minutes something like that um or not even bored you're just gonna be you know pulling the hair out of your head because it's it's frustrating you know it's frustrating like i said the music was extremely distracting it was it, it was not entertaining at all it was you know it was it, it, it was like two settings they were either on stage together or he was kind of singing slash mumbling in his own head and it it, it was not interesting there was you know they were all songs probably very nice back in the day and um, you know, talking about the love and the life together and stuff, kind of out of place a little bit, you know, it's like <laughs> kind of, you know, considering how dark it was and 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 then how, you know, crazy all those people were. But um, anyways, um, yeah, so, so like I said, unless you're a hardcore fan, um, yeah, go and see it. But like I said, just don't expect to be, you know, um, happy about the outcome. Um, the ending itself was, um, you know, kind of unexpected too. So, or happy about how it, how it progresses, you know, because it is going to be slow. It is going to be painful. So my rating probably is going to be three out of 10. And the three points is just solely for the acting and, um, and, you know, directing because it was well put together. Just the idea was Mm -mm. not there but um yeah that's that's what i'm giving 
Okay. I mean, we're pretty much on the same page, three and four. Uh, one last thing I want to add before we end our review here is that, uh, again, I'm not a big musical person, but I have seen my fair share of musicals. And I think where this movie, you know, kind of uh, falls flat or, you know, loses itself is that the music doesn't add anything to the story. Yeah. Uh, usually in musicals, uh, the songs, you know, they progress the plot forward or they, they help the character, you know, overcome something or maybe it's a relationship issue whatever the case is this movie the, the songs and the the times that they put them in there it would be mid conversation and then it would just go off into a four or five minute song and then back to the conversation so like you said very distracting and uh i don't think it added anything to the movie at all i think the budget was way too high for this type of film and uh i don't think it's gonna do as well as the first movie at the box office at all mm -mm. No, no way. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us here on another movie review. We hope you all have a great day. And uh, if you decide to see this movie, please leave your comments below. We'd be more than happy to hear what you have to say. Bye That's for now. Next one. <laughs>